Hello, today I will be installing a Dietrichworks 300C fuel pump. The tools that you will need is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a screwdriver or something to scrape off the uh, gasket maker and also something to hammer open the, uh, the ring, a hammer, obviously some gasket maker and towels, and if you want to drain the tank, uh, a siphon. The first step is to remove this 10 millimeter nut where it gets bolt. Okay, now you can lift the seat up and push down on the back. Okay, there we go, like that. Okay, the next step is to use the screwdriver and pry this up. It's held down by like a gasket maker. Okay, with the pry bar screwdriver, you just pry up around here and eventually it will come up. Uh, there's really not much holding it in. And there you go. Uh, be careful not to uh, tear that wire. You can just unplug this. Okay, now that we have this clip out, just use a screwdriver or scraper and remove the gasket maker around the edge. Okay, I've cleared almost all of the gasket maker material from the lid and the car. And now you open the, uh, the fuel pump holder by hammering on this ring in a counterclockwise position. And make sure that these are lined up because that's when you know that they'll be back together. Okay, turns out that this doesn't use the clip. You just depress these two tabs right here and then this slides right off. And there's gas fucking all over the place, holy shit. Okay, now that we got a bunch of towels to soak up the gasoline, you can spin this after it was hit about a quarter and take the ring off. Once you get the cap and the, the gasket out, I would just use a towel to wipe all the dirt off. Now that you have everything cleaned up, you can just pull this out. Make sure not to spill anything. And there's a little leg down on the uh, passenger side down here that you have to push in to pull out. Okay, now that we got the container that holds the pump out, all we have to do is disconnect this and it's the same deal as the other one. You just push the tabs down and fuel will screw it all over the place and pull it off. Okay, turns out that it was too low to use a siphon, so I had to use a hand pump to pump the tank out. Next, you want to remove that C-clip right there that holds in that spring. Okay, now that you got the C-clip out, you can remove this from there and pull the top off. Now you have to push down these three tabs to pull this out. Okay, now that you got the bottom apart, you have to unclip these five clips. It's uh, actually easy, easiest to start with these two right here and then move to these and then use like a pick or something to pry this one up and pop it off. Don't worry if you break the three on the pump because we're going to cut right here. These are the two important ones. Okay now we can pull the fuel pump off of this little thing right here and we are going to cut at that little gap uh, right there. We're going to cut this that three part off from, from that two. Okay, so we clean cut it and this is the piece we keep and that goes back on to the fuel harness. So here's the pump. We gotta remove the cap here and here and then we put the stack of uh, O-rings onto this and then we'll put it back together. Okay, when you put on the fuel sock, I had the label, where's the, where did I put the label? I had the label come off so I'm just going to leave it off. I don't think that probably should be in there anyway. So now we just put the rest of the stuff back together. One thing I forgot to remove was the spacer. You have to remove the spacer from, from in there. Okay, so we have three O-rings and we removed the spacer and the other O-ring up in there. And now we just connect in there and push it in. Okay, I got the fuel pump back in and I put the clip back on. Okay, now that we got the clip in, we have to make sure that this is underneath of that. And now we just plug in the new connectors and we reverse everything. 
now that we got this clip on, we're just going to make sure that we can squeeze the pump. And it looks like it works. Next, we are going to connect this fuel line to the pump, make sure it's clicked in, and then insert the pump. Okay, the next step is we are going to put that black gasket that we saw uh, around the hole in the tank and then press this top in there. It should stay like this and now we're going to install the uh, that like that washer and lock ring. Now that we got the ring lined up with this and that dot, we are going to connect the fuel line, make sure everything's lined up in there. Okay, it's snug. And now we're going to connect this power to that and put a little bead of gasket maker on there and okay we got our bead down there now we just connect it and put it back into place okay i got the bolt put back in and the seat in and now i just got to fill up on 93 prime it and then start it okay so we primed it and now it is running as you can see i am now at warm idle or normal idle and my 93 has about 8% ethanol in there so I guess it's about as good as it's going to get.